Our shining city on the North Coast is proud to boast that with tonight's game, they will have hosted the most of these Midsummer Classics over the years, six to be exact, one more than their five closest peers. And it should also be noted, our fans are devoted for the three largest all-star crowds ever admittable were right here on the lake at Old Cleveland Municipal. Our hotels are packed solid, demanding premium pricing, and the money being spent is what we call on top of the cake icing. $60 million is the economic impact we'll see from the 100,000 fans who will in Cleveland be to celebrate baseball and the game's greatest stars while dropping some coin at our shops, restaurants, and bars. And while we're talking numbers in this little chat, consider this stat. 1997 was the last year in Cleveland the All-Stars all came to bat. And what happened that year, you'll recall, was the Tribe and the World Series came within one out of winning it all. And the record that year on this date after game 88 is the same as it is at this midseason break. 38 losses to 50 wins. So even though we trailed the division by five and a half to the Twins, there's a point to be made. There's a lot of baseball left to be played. But that's a discussion for later. For now, let us just savor our time in the spotlight and the attention it's bringing. And all those visitors who will leave Cleveland singing what we already know and say without hesitation. Cleveland is once again the best location in the nation. In Cleveland, John Kasich, News 5.